I'm Pat Sear, pro drift driver for Scion Racing and host of the Scion FRS Tuner Challenge. We're here at iCar Circuit, just outside of Montreal, for the Media Challenge. Yeah. To win this challenge today, the teams are going to have to hand over the keys to their Scion FRSs to some of the top automotive journalists yeah. in the country. They'll be rating the builds for overall performance and style to determine a winner. Handing the keys over to somebody we don't know. Actually, three people we don't know. A little scary. Yeah. So what we're doing today, we're uh, the media challenge. We're trying to figure out, with the help of you guys, the judges, which car is the ultimate do-it-all track car. Now it's uh, it's up to what other people feel about the car, which is kind of exciting because uh, we don't get to share the car with many people. Because race car. Because. <laughs> getting on the throttle earlier and earlier and trusting it more. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's just that the splitter is so low that we run it usually that low, but then yeah. with the problem is that it's, it, because it's a little bit bumpier of a track, as soon as it hits that first one, it gets sucked in. It's, oh, it's okay, just okay, during so the fast one. Yeah, 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 so I all I have to do is just raise it a little bit, but I, I didn't know that until you drove it, so now we know. <laughs> thank you for the R&D. <laughs> No problems, you just uh, you know, a little bit of side uh, side track, quick changes and uh, it's back to where it should be. Well this is this is something else. Ridiculously fast. And I can feel it. It's like I wanna go faster, I wanna go faster. Well short shift, c'est cool, c'est fait au Québec en plus. Un gars de saint émile qui le fait. On a changé l'huile sur le véhicule. On a mis du gaz aussi. On a mis du de la de l'essence. Euh, on a joué un petit peu avec la suspension, question de mettre un petit peu plus smooth. Puis, euh, la routine habituelle, quoi, c'est-à-dire y aller euh, avec... Euh, plaisir. Hein? Plaisir. On va se plaisir. Ouais, c'est ça, avec le plaisir. Mais ça a bien été, c'était bien le fun. Hein? So, just uh, strapping you in. Yep. Just have fun. Don't worry about anything else. I worry and, about the walls. Yeah. Just drive it like you stole it. That I can do. And have fun out there. I'll be with you. I was like, I want to kind of fill you out. Then at the end, I gave him 80, horse, 80 more horsepower. And I loved each and every one of them. You used every single one of them. Woo! Ow! Yeah, that was a good time. I guess my first time in a race prepped FRS. So uh, when he kicked nitrous in, it was a lot more fun. Power band was really smooth throughout all the way. We'll bring each team one by one, and then all three of you can give your two cents on what you thought about their car. Purpose built race car. Really fun to drive. So thank you. Okay. I, I kind of summed up your car as all show, all go. Thank you. Tu n'as pas, vous n'avez pas vraiment changé la recette de Sion, vous l'avez juste améliorée. 
Tout ça, la pièce cumulative, vraiment. Juste... Magnifique. So that's it for this challenge. I have the results. It was quite interesting how it all turned out in the end. So in third place, Team Top Tuner. In second place, Team Swag. And of course, in first place, Richard from Team BCMC. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, after today's challenge, Team Top Tuner is still in the lead with 72 points. Team BCMC quickly gaining on them with 69 points. And Team Swag still in last place with 48. Richard, what do you think was the deciding factor today with your win? I think it was the story. I think that uh, Sean really uh, brightly there driving the car that came from Pikes Peak. I mean, we built the car so it's great, but I think a lot of it came down to the story for the journalists. For more information on the Scion Tuner Challenge and previous videos, check us out at tunerchallenge.ca.